Hey, it's Joel again with another vlog. The last one had a good reception, so I thought I would do it again. Uh, the, the vlogs are really great. So on a personal note, it's awesome that I can just pull out my GoPro and I can record and I can give you guys a behind the scenes tour of things, show you what's going on, show you what I'm working on. Don't worry, Sean is gonna be editing produced videos uh, as long as I can make them, but uh, the vlogs are just a way to get a bunch of information out to you and it seems to be working so far. So uh, if, if you like this, let me know. If you like this, leave a comment. If, if you see something in a vlog that uh, you're like, hey, I want to know more about that, then, then let, me, let me know. Cool? The fine folks, especially Kayla at BuildTech, look at that. This is a 3D printing nerd flex plate system, and they did it specifically for the Prusa. The idea is this is going to go on the bed right there and then this is the flexible plate you can see it says some cool stuff there and that attaches to that so i'm gonna i'm gonna see if that works that should be fun i can't wait because i i got to admit the prusa machine with a flexible build plate is is unstoppable we're gonna uh step into my office and i want to warn you it's it's a little it's a little messy here. Let me give you a quick little spin. Yeah, it's a little messy. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time to clean up stuff in here. But uh, I, you can see right behind me there, I've got the Zix 3D printer currently printing some stuff in Flexible. Got the review planned for that, and I already have a bunch of prints. It's just a matter of, of filming it and, and getting everything done so Sean can edit that up. Uh, and over here, that is the little monster, and I am printing a three-part Star Destroyer, and it's kind of a shimmery filament. It looks kind of good. I did remove the build tack esque thing on the build plate. It was really kind of terrible anyway, and I'm just going glue on glass. Uh, I am time-lapsing that. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's going... It's going good. It should have enough filament to finish, I think. Here's my, there's my G-Max right next to the little monster. Here's the CR-10. Uh, there's, there's my, there's my Mini. There's my Prusa. There's uh, the, the, the BCN. There's my Taz-6. Uh, I got. I got a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see, what did I do today? Oh, you know what? I got coffee. Uh, so uh, I, I, I was able to run the GoPro there. Here's a little snippet from my coffee shop. I have a fan mail address, and you know when you send me fan mail, it doesn't go to a P.O. box. It goes to my local coffee shop. This is this is Esther. Hi. That's Haley. Hi. They make me some awesome coffee. Hey, Esther, why don't you take it around? Cool, cool. Hi. Okay, so Joel gets a double tall caramel Americano. Are you making? This is our machine. There's Joel. Cups. All that fun stuff. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you for making me awesome coffee. Thank you. So Haley and Esther work here. So if you send me fan mail, you know they're here receiving my mail. If you're fans of Haley or if you're fans of Esther, you can always send them something as well. I got a coffee to get. See you later. Well, that's cool, right? So my mailbox is actually my coffee shop. And Esther and Haley, they're awesome. And anytime I got mail that comes in, they just save it for me. And sometimes I'll get a text, hey, Joel, come pick up your packages. It's kind of funny. Uh, for now, let's call it good on the vlog. That's enough. That's enough content for now. I got to edit that up. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. If you saw anything here in the vlog that's of interest to you that you want to see more of, please let me know in the comments or shoot me an email or tag me on Twitter or whatever. But until now, no, not until now, but until later, let's call it good. I love you guys. Take it easy. Until the next time.